I'm back. Hey guys, it's that guy with movies back here again. And like I said before the little logo sequence there, I'm back. So let's do some uh, shopping. Let's go do some thrifting and uh, we'll see what we can find today. There is one place that I do want to go to. And that is Walmart because there was a new movie that came out and that is Judas and the Black Messiah. That came out on DVD and Blu-ray. Unfortunately, no 4K for that one. So we're going to go out there. We're going to grab that. We'll see maybe what else they have and then we'll probably do some thrifting. So let's go over to Walmart first and we'll see what they have there today. Alright guys, we are at Walmart. Gotta say, it's good to be back doing videos. So let's go on inside and hopefully they have the movie that I'm looking for today. Alright guys, inside Walmart right now, and it's looking pretty light, but I found the thing that I came here for, which was uh, Judas and the Black Messiah, right here. I absolutely love this movie, so I'm going to go ahead and pick this one up today. And there's only three copies, as you guys can see right there, but there's a whole bunch more DVDs of it, but obviously I'm going to go ahead and pick this up on Blu-ray. But as for the other stuff here, they have this movie here, The Little Things, which uh, I don't know too much about. It's got a pretty good cast in here. I've heard it's kind of mediocre though, but uh, I'm going to have to maybe check that one out sometime. And other than that, The Undoing, I think this one's kind of old, but I want an HBO miniseries and all that is just old TV shows. Over here, I think this is, yeah, more TV shows. This section is looking really light as you guys can see right there. Uh, nothing new, I don't think, from here. Same thing over here. Yeah, just not too much that came out recently. We still have a whole bunch of copies of Wonder Woman 1984 here, which I did grab and I did do an unboxing on. Um, what's this? The Iron Mask. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jackie Chan. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's very good. And besides Soul, I think... It looks like it's about it, and it looks like Raya and the Last Dragon is coming out here soon, which I think I'll be picking that up as well. But, uh, yeah, that's about it for over here. I got what I came here for, so let's get out of here. Okay, guys, we are heading on into Savers. Let's go on inside and see what they have today. Hopefully they got some pretty good stuff because it's been a bit of a dry spell lately. Okay, so taking a look at the movies here, I grabbed a couple things already, and... I'll show you what they are. I found uh, Final Season of Breaking Bad on Blu-ray. I can't find it on DVD, which would probably match all the other ones. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab it on Blu-ray. So I'll just go ahead and turn it like this. Uh, I found a copy of Tenet on Blu-ray, so I might pick that up. I'm not too sure yet. Maybe probably just a resell. Uh, Frank Herbert's Dune, which I believe is the miniseries. And Castle in the Sky, which is just a uh, Studio Ghibli title. So now let's take a look at what they have here. I am not unfortunately seeing too much else here. Um, TV shows, just the usual. Um, same thing with the Blu-rays too. It's kind of the usual stuff. It's a couple of HD DVDs, Blood Diamond and Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. Nothing that great. A couple seasons of Breaking Bad on Blu-ray. Um, Fast and Furious 6. They have, um, they have the Wolverine. Unleashed Extended Edition 3D. I already have that, so I'm not going to grab that. Um, a bunch of copies of The Social Network, but it doesn't have the outer sleeves. Mine does, so there's that. So now let's take a look at the DVDs. I've never seen this release here before. 45 Years of Absolute Pleasure, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Plus, yeah, it looks like it's a brand new release of it because it has like the kind of Disney layout on the cover. A bunch of Carol Burnett DVDs. You see those like everywhere, pretty much can't even give those things away and if we go down here once again I'm trying to go a little bit slower so you guys can see what there is but <clears throat> I'm looking at a little bit of a faster speed and unfortunately there's just nothing really that great to kind of point out or show you guys or whatever uh, and there's that and then of course they have like three shelves of TV shows but once again I am not seeing anything too great. 
Okay, why don't we restart looking over here because I unfortunately had somebody that was looking on the shelf next to me, but uh, they had the Godfather DVD collection, which is actually a really nice box set, but I do already have, of course, if you're a movie guy, you have to have the Godfather movies in your collection, so I already have those, I don't need that. But uh, some season 24, whatever, small bill, whatever, um, some stuff here. I think this is where whereabouts I found the Dune box set. What's this? Temple Grandin. Kind of looks bootleg-ish. Nothing I was really interested in anyways. And some more stuff. Another copy of Social Network, which is a little bit more dusty and beat up. Uh, they have got Grease Live here. Vanessa Hudgens is in that. There's, and Julianne Hoff. Eh. Um, <laughs> Holmes and Watson, yeah, one of the probably worst movies. I, I've never seen it, but by all accounts, it is apparently awful. I can't put that away with one hand, so I'm just gonna leave that there. Um, a couple of multi feature sets, just kind of whatever movies, though. And stuff down here, not seeing anything. So let's go take a look at the other two shelves of movies they have. Okay, so this is the second shelf of movies here that I have to show you. I already kind of pre-looked at these already and didn't see too much here. I think I only have like maybe one or two things to that are kind of noteworthy to pull out on the shelf here. There's a National Geographic documentary, Guns, Germs, and Steel. Doesn't seem like really something that I would probably enjoy watching, so I'll put that away. I, I do collect National Geographic DVDs, but... I don't know, that one just doesn't seem like really that interesting. And down here doesn't seem like there's anything. Looks like somebody already got rid of Monster Hunter, which like came out like, what, a month and a half ago? So that's weird to kind of see here, but there's that. And on the, on the last two shelves, I'm not, seeing really anything that great yeah that's about it for the shelf so let's go on to the other one okay and here is the last shelf before we get going here and it once again doesn't look like there's anything to show so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, look with you guys and see if there's anything well it turns out there's one thing Metallica some kind of monster looks like it's some kind of documentary maybe two and a half hours long I don't know, maybe it's about like one of their tours or something like that. A couple sealed DVDs, nothing special though. Um, yeah, however, it's that. Uh, no extra Blu-rays as far as I can tell, because usually sometimes they do put some Blu-rays in here. They throw some in here, but it doesn't look like there's anything though. On top, another movie on top, guess who? Yeah. There's that. What's this? The Mambo Kings? Nah. Really want that one. And that is down here. So I might go around the store. I don't know. Haven't decided yet. Might go around the store and see if there's anything else to maybe film. Other than that, I'm just going to go ahead and get out of here. So that's it for value or uh, savers. Well, as you guys saw from me being back home already, there was nothing else to film inside Savers. So I'm back home to do the pickups now. And with the pile of stuff that I got, this is pretty much what it looks like right here. I'm gonna, all right, half of this is games and half of this is movies. So I'm gonna show you guys the movies first, just in case you don't wanna see the games, I'll save those until last because there are a couple Xbox and PS2 games that are in the stack here that I do want to show you, but it's perfectly understandable if you don't want to watch that part. So I'm going to be doing the movies first. So let's go ahead and get started with some of that. So this is the movie stack here. It's, um, you know, not too bad, I guess, not too bad of stuff. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I showed in this video was me going to Walmart and uh, getting Judas and the Black Messiah, and that's exactly what I got here. There's no 4K of this or anything, and I definitely didn't want to pick up the DVD of this, so I just ended up picking up the Blu-ray. 
And it's got a nice looking slip cover. Unfortunately, it does have a couple of dings on the corners and everything, but that's Walmart quality assurance for you every time they put out movies. But uh, yeah, this one I picked up because this was a seriously good movie. I highly recommend watching this one. If you guys have, bleh, if you guys have not watched this already, highly recommend watching it. It was nominated for Best Picture. It didn't end up winning, unfortunately. Uh, Daniel Kaluuya right here, great actor. Hopefully he's in more stuff after or uh, after the fact now that he has his Oscar for Best Supporting Actor because he was fantastic in this. He was fantastic in Get Out and uh, he was okay in Sicario. So I do want to see more of him because he's just really good. And uh, Lake Keith Stanfield is also really good in this movie as well. And yeah, just an all around excellent movie. Really, really enjoyed it. So definitely had to pick it up on Blu-ray here. And yeah, it's got the digital code and everything. And unfortunately, pretty weak selection of bonus features right there. You only have two things in here. This is definitely a movie I would have wanted to see more special features on because this was just, man, this was so good. But, you know, special features, just like nothing on here. Probably just like little five minute featurettes. So... Ooh, 10 minutes of bonus features. Ooh, so yeah, there's that. But Judas and the Black Messiah, if you haven't seen it, it should be out on digital already because it's already out on Blu-ray. Definitely pick it up and or definitely rent it on, you know, iTunes or whatever you use because this is just a really, really, really good movie. Very well made with excellent performances in it. So yeah, Judas and the Black Messiah, um, put it over here. Okay, now let's go to the stuff that I picked up thrifting, and yeah, that is my pretty pathetic little thrifting haul. I have no idea what's going on with my thrift stores lately. I don't know if people are holding stuff for, you know, garage sales because my government is permitting those this year, or if people are just trying to sell stuff on Marketplace or Kijiji, which is like Kijiji, if you don't know what that is, it's basically like a Canadian version of Craigslist. So, you know, people selling stuff on Kijiji, people selling stuff on Facebook Marketplace. I have no idea what's going on with the thrift stores, but, you know, it's kind of a pretty pathetic little haul here. So, ended up picking up one Blu-ray and two DVDs, and if you count movies in this, I got one movie from the thrift store. The rest are TV show seasons, so I'll go ahead and show you the Blu-ray first. And this Blu-ray is a TV show season, and that is the final season here of Breaking Bad. Um, when I was taking a little bit of a break here, which is what I've just returned from because of just because of school and everything, um, Breaking Bad was one of the shows I ended up watching for the first time. I really, really enjoyed it, but I don't think to the, to the degree that everybody else likes it because everybody's like, this is so good. This is like part of the holy trinity of, you know, uh, live action TV. It's so good. You have to watch it. It's one of my favorite shows ever. Yeah, it was really good. I really enjoyed watching it, but is it something that I would probably rewatch? Re eh, I don't know. But I did really, really enjoy it. It was a very well made show. Great acting in here. And, uh, you know, just all the stuff that um, Walter and Jesse get into is just, you know, like absolutely insane. But do I think it's as good as everybody says it is? Not really, but it is still a really, really good show. And if you're wondering why this is called the final season, technically, this is not the final season of the show. Season 5 is the last season of the show. And the other DVD that I have that I got a little while ago, I think, they call that the fifth season. But this one they call the final season. Basically, what this was is back in 2013 when this aired, AMC pretty much just took season five they extended it by three episodes so instead of having the usual 13 that they had they had 16 episodes in the season they split it in half for marketing purposes just to get more money i'm assuming and um you know this is what we have so we have the fifth season and we have the final season so technically we have season five and we kind of sort of have a season six of breaking bad here um consisting of only eight episodes here and part one or season five was uh, eight episodes as well but the whole season if you count both of these seasons as season five then it is uh 16 episodes so yeah breaking bad here the final season if we're talking specifically like home media releases this season i really really enjoyed but the first half of it was good but 
I was expecting a little bit better, especially after the last few episodes of Season 4. I think Season 4 is actually my favorite season of the show here. It was just so good. I pretty much, you know, blew through that season in probably about a week, I would say. But yeah, Breaking Bad here, just a great show. But I just don't think it's as good as everybody says it is. But yeah, the final season of Breaking Bad, really great show nonetheless. And now let's get to the only movie that I picked up while thrifting, and that is Castle in the Sky here. And you're probably wondering, haven't you said you never liked anime? Why are you picking up anime titles now? Well, I was kind of thinking I should, you know, broaden my horizons a little bit with um, movies and especially, you know, animation and everything. And, um, you know, I decided to pick up some of these Studio Ghibli movies because everybody says they are just absolutely fantastic movies. And I actually ended up watching one not too long ago and it was Princess Mononoke. And I actually really enjoyed that one. I don't love it, but uh, I did really enjoy it. So Castle in the Sky here, I, I hear a lot of pretty good things about Spirited Away. I hear a lot of really great things about um, just all of these Studio Ghibli movies, everybody says, are just fantastic. And, uh, this one is a little bit better, in better shape than the other Studio Ghibli one that I got, which was Kiki's Delivery Service. I was gonna try and sell that one, but just haven't gotten around to it yet. It's in a little bit better shape. It is, you know, scratched a little bit. I don't know if you guys can really see it that well, but, uh, the disc works nonetheless, and the bonus feature disc here is pretty much mint there are no scratches or fingerprints or anything like that on there and uh it is complete so yeah castle in the sky i should get around to watching the other studio ghibli movies one time because i did really like what i you know like just kind of got a little taste of it and i really liked it so i should watch some more of these ones so that is castle in the sky and uh the last dvd that i picked up at savers was frank herbert's dune and basically what this is, I think, is a TV miniseries. From what I know, Dune is a really long book. I don't know if it's a series or not, or if it's just kind of a one-off thing. Uh, I'm not that well-versed in, uh, you know, like, these super popular books, or even, you know, like, books or anything like that, book culture. I'm not as invested as I am into, like, movies and TV and video games and everything like that. But, uh, you know, apparently I think this is a, a TV miniseries that's around, I think, four episodes that I saw. Uh, total runtime is 265 minutes, so about, uh, oh, that'd be about around uh, four hours, I would say. So, yeah, Dune here, it's in these, it's in one of these one-inch thick cases, which is kind of weird seeing, like, a TV show being in one of these. But, uh, you know, it's interesting nonetheless. I've always kind of liked these cases. So, you open this part of the case up and there's the first disc. And then you open up the second part and there's the second disc. So, there's that. I am excited for the new Dune movie that's supposed to be coming out this October. Hopefully, that is still coming out this October. And hopefully, that's still coming out this year, too. Because I do really want to watch it. I watched the trailer for it a little while ago and it looked great. So, there is uh, Frank Herbert's Dune. So, maybe I might watch one of these. I think I'd probably prefer watching the David Lynch movie from the 80s. So yeah, Frank Herbert's Dune here. And that was it that I got from the thrift store. So now we will move on to a couple of other things that I picked up at another Walmart. I didn't end up filming anything in that Walmart. There's nothing special there to film. So I ended up grabbing a couple of other things here. Uh, first one being another new release, and that is News of the World here, starring Tom Hanks. I watched this one a little while back as well, and this one was not too bad. I was expecting a little bit better, but it was still, you know, kind of an enjoyable experience nonetheless. You know, Tom Hanks always brings it in his movies, and it's an interesting movie, if a little bit slow, kind of, but it's a movie that does kind of get you invested into the story and everything. And uh, from being directed by Paul Greengrass, if you don't know who he is, he's the same guy that directed the Bourne movies. And uh, I think there was not a whole lot of shaky cam in this movie, which is definitely a thing that he really likes to use in his movies. 
and it's super annoying and I don't know why he insists on using it but he does make some really good movies this one I don't think is like a, a really really good movie but it's a decent watch I liked it and it'll probably sound really good here because it does have an Atmos track on here yeah English Dolby Atmos so yeah news of the world here wanted to pick this one up because it did have the slipcover in it as well and it's in kind of an interesting feeling slipcover it's kind of like a fingerprint magnet-ish kind of slipcover, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know why Universal is, like, doing these with their movies now, like, these kinds of slipcovers. They did it with Freaky as well. But, uh, yeah, News of the World here. Decent movie. Not horrible, but it's not fantastic either. It was it was a solid movie. It was a solid watch. And, uh, if you know, worth watching for Tom Hanks' performance alone. So, yeah, News of the World here. I like that one, so I ended up picking it up. Plus, it should sound really good as well. And the last movie I have to show you guys for this video is a DVD. I wanted to pick this one up on Blu-ray, but I saw it on DVD for only $8. And I knew I had to pick it up because I actually watched it recently because it was actually uh, the movie of the show that I just showed in this video. So that kind of gave it away. It's El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. So... This one was a Netflix movie, but for some reason, this one got, like, a broad release. Sometimes with these Netflix ones, they don't usually get, like, uh, you know, worldwide releases on, you know, media, like, home video, I guess, for lack of a better term. Or DVDs or Blu-rays. Physical media. There we go. That's what I was thinking of. Netflix stuff usually doesn't get released on uh, physical media, so this one was a bit of an exception. I heard that this one actually got a limited edition steelbook, which I unfortunately missed out on. But I watched this movie recently, and it was good. It wasn't as good as Breaking Bad, but it was, you know, kind of a good closure to the story. And something I would probably recommend if you are a big Breaking Bad fan. Probably if you're a big Better Call Saul fan as well. Even though if you watch Breaking, or I was going to say Breaking Call Saul. If you watch Better Call Saul first, but you haven't seen Breaking Bad, obviously you probably wouldn't watch this because this would make no sense to you. But if you have seen both shows, or if you've seen Breaking Bad, this one is definitely something to watch because it does give you a little bit more closure to some of the events that happened during the finale of Breaking Bad. I won't spoil it for the few people that have not seen Breaking Bad already, but... Uh, you know, like, if you haven't seen Breaking Bad, I'm not going to spoil what happens, but this is basically what happens to Jesse after the Breaking Bad finale. So, yeah, El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. Had to pick it up for $8 here on DVD, which was, a, you know, a really good deal. So, I figured I'd pick that one up. Okay, so that's it for the movies now. Let's move on to the video games. And I actually picked up a couple more than what I'm showing in this video, but unfortunately, uh, there are actually two other PS2 games that I was going to show, but unfortunately, I have to take them back because they are the discs were destroyed, and the guy at that store did not want to buff them for some reason, like rebuff them, just to kind of get rid of all the scratches for some reason. So you know, unfortunately, I have to take those games back. So I will not be showing those in this video. But what I am going to show you are four PS2 games and two Xbox games, original Xbox. For a total of six video games here to show you. I'll probably blow through these. So first one I grabbed was the Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay. I have not seen any of the Riddick movies. And I've never played this game before. But I did play a little bit of it just to test the disc out. And the disc has some scratches on it. But it's probably one of the ones in better condition here of the stack. But uh from what I played of it, it's kind of cool. I like it so far. It got a lot of really great reviews from critics. So that's why I decided to pick this one up. And the Riddick movies are something that I do want to end up checking out here soon. So uh, I might probably do that this summer. But yeah, Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay. There's that. And I think they made another one as well on Xbox 360 and PS3. Uh, next one here is a fighting game. And that is uh, Tao Feng Fist of the Lotus here. It's a Mortal Kombat clone. That's pretty much all this is. It's actually made by Microsoft. It's an Xbox exclusive here. It's from 2000, either 2002 or 2003. So it did come out during the early years of the original Xbox. And actually, surprisingly enough, this disc is, I would say, probably in the best shape out of all of them. 
Um, kind of a three-way tie between Riddick, this one, and then the next one I will show you. But Tao Feng, Fist of the Lotus, it's a Mortal Kombat clone, but it's a decent enough one at that. It gets the job done if you, you know, you don't have Mortal Kombat or something like that in your in your collection. And why wouldn't you? <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Yeah, Tao Feng, Fist of the Lotus here. It's not too bad. It's actually from the same guys or some of the same guys that did Mortal Kombat. So there's that. So that is Tao Feng, Fist of the Lotus. That's it for the Xbox games. So now we'll move on to the PS2 games. First one here being Bully. This is one that I did actually have originally. I got it for, I think, a, a little bit cheaper than what I paid for it this time around. I think I got it for like 20 bucks or something. I paid 25 bucks for this one. I don't know. Games have been going up like crazy in, uh, you know, prices. or They've been going up in price. They've been... I can't talk today. They have been going up in price like crazy, and I just don't know why. I think they are they might be trying to capitalize on the pandemic. I don't know, just people staying inside and quarantining and everything. That's why games are probably going up in price like they have been, like all the Mario games. But uh, Bully here was one that I did used to have, and it was actually kind of fun from what I've played of it. It's a Rockstar game, but I guess it's kind of a more... I wouldn't say kid-oriented, more kind of geared towards teens, I would say. Um, I guess kind of a more tame down or tame uh, GTA. But basically, you are limited to, you're limited to this small town. It's not a huge map by any means, but, you know, like it's not like uh, Vice City or Liberty City or something like that in any of the GTA games. But Bully here, it's decent enough. I like it. And plus, it has a really cool embossed cover as well, and it's shiny as well. So there's that one. Next one up I did used to have as well, and that is 007 Nightfire. This one, this game was pretty cool in that, you know, you basically just play as James Bond in this one, and you're just doing James Bondy kind of stuff. So yeah, it was pretty cool. I used to have it on Xbox, actually, so I figured I'd pick it up on PS2, because I didn't see it at the store on Xbox, so I just said whatever, and grabbed it on PS2 here. So that is 007 Nightfire. And the next game is the only one out of this stack, I think, besides Riddick that I didn't have in my collection already. And this one is a Greatest Hits one, so just kind of like a cheaper re-release of it. And that is The Simpsons Road Rage here. I absolutely love The Simpsons, especially the older uh, episodes of The Simpsons. If I had to pick probably a favorite TV show of all time, I would have to say early seasons of The Simpsons because they are just fantastic. And I ended up watching... Uh, some of the like newer Simpsons episodes and man, they are bad. I don't know why, you know, this show is still continuing on. Maybe it's popular with viewers. I don't know, but just end this show already. Do a second movie and just end the show already. Seriously. And I don't know why they just stopped doing like the DVD releases of this. What I can't stand is like how Fox or I guess Disney now doesn't keep their word on releasing Simpsons anymore or even Family Guy. I'd say I haven't seen a Family Guy release in I don't know how long. And uh, even with Simpsons as well, like they they went up to from 1 to 17. They released all those seasons. Then they released 20 for some reason um, in like a 20th anniversary like uh, box set or something like that. And they decided to stop after that box set. And then they left it like that for a couple of years. And then they came back and they're like, oh, we're going to release all the Simpsons box sets again. But then that time they just released 18 and 19. And we basically only have from 1 to 20 now instead of, you know, the other 12 seasons, 12 or 13 seasons that have come out. But the Simpsons Road Rage here, from what I played, it's pretty fun. It's a Crazy Taxi clone, just like the Tao Feng one is a Mortal Kombat clone. This is just kind of a cheaper alternative to Crazy Taxi, basically. So that is The Simpsons Road Rage. And the final game that I have to show you guys for this video, and the final thing as well, is Ratchet & Clank Going Commando here. I absolutely love the Ratchet & Clank games. If you guys have not played them yet, you're missing out. If you can find them for cheap, definitely pick them up because they are fantastic games. I don't think I've finished the whole game of any of these, but from what I've played from, you know, the few levels i played from some of these I actually have all of them now on the PS2, I think, besides the ones that reported to PSP. 
Um, these were just super fun games. I really like, you know, upgrading the weapons and just blasting away robots and everything like that. And all these, you know, kind of alien-ish creatures. But yeah, this is the second one out of all of these that was released. I wanted to have some of these Ratchet and Clank games back because I used to have all of them on PS2. And I think I used to have most of them on PS3 as well. But yeah, Ratchet and Clank going commando here. Just, you know, great games. I really like them. Anyway, though, that is about it for this video. And uh, that is it for... I guess I wouldn't say that's it. That's it for kind of sort of my uh, my comeback video here. I'll definitely be doing more videos here. And uh, I got some, you know, pretty not too bad plans for the summer for videos. So, uh, yeah, anyway, though, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Instagram and Twitter links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Also, be sure to check out my IMDb profile page. The link for that will also be down below in the description of this video as well to check out what I've been watching recently. Also, if you're new to my channel or if you're already subscribed, be sure to click the bell to be notified of future videos. A new video every Tuesday and Friday. So, anyway, though, guys, that's about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.